Hey, good morning. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yes. Hey, good morning to you, Sister Nancy, Sister Trina. Blessings, blessings. <clears throat> good morning, Gariana. How are you, Sister Anita? Blessings. Shalom. 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 Welcome to Thursday's edition of morning prayer. Thank you, Lord. Brother Ron, Sister Maggie, Brother Edmund. Blessings. Welcome to morning prayer. Happy Thursday. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'd like to start the morning off with some thanksgiving can we start the morning off with some thanksgiving yes uh, the lord's been good it's thursday if you've made it to the end of the month uh, with his strength with his power you made it to a, to the end of another month i think he deserves some credit some praise some honor and so uh one thing yeah he woke me up this morning Woke me up at four. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you put one thing in the chat this morning that you just you're grateful for, that you're appreciative of? One thing. We overcome because of the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And the accuser of the brethren was thrown down. The accuser of the brethren was thrown down. Good morning, Shantae. How are you doing? Ms. Shea, good morning to you. Blessings. Give me butterflies. Good morning to you. One thing. Let's start the morning. Get those thumbs warmed up if you can. If you can. If he's worthy. If he's worth anything to you. One thing in the chat that you're just grateful for. I'll tell you what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for love. I have a son and a daughter. 18 months apart the college students and I love them I love them with everything I, I'm just so grateful the way that they they've made a choice they've made a choice to separate themselves and live holy I'm so I'm grateful for that I, I can't thank God enough right now for the choices that they've seen um but one thing in the chat that you're thankful for is you're joining this morning. We're going to start the morning off with Thanksgiving, and I'm just going to give my own testimony, my own Thanksgiving. Um, I'm grateful that my two, they're faced with a lot of choices. They've both been in college. My daughter's now been in college three years. My son's been in college four. Um, and even some of their friends that they associate with, you know, uh, different backgrounds we don't judge anybody we don't judge anybody because everybody could have had a different approach to life they could have had a different outcome could have had a different set of parents they could have grew up in a different city different state different country the Lord's put the Lord puts our souls and our spirits where he thinks our souls and our spirits need to be placed so we don't judge anybody for their circumstance for their environment uh, my son and daughter I'm grateful for I'm thankful for because uh, both of them play college basketball. If you've ever played sports, you know that locker room talk is locker room talk. And you hear everything that goes on in the locker room. It stays in the locker room. And people are honest in the locker room. The locker room was my first safe space. When I, when I was in high school and when I was in college and I played college basketball, uh, I learned that I could lean on the guys in the locker room. But I also learned some stuff in the locker room that you... You wouldn't hear you wouldn't hear it out on the court. You wouldn't hear it in the in on the university streets. Both of them have come across probably everything that's happening in our world, and because of the word of God that my wife planted inside of their souls when they first could start learning, when they first started learning. She was teaching them the alphabet, teaching them how to read, teaching them the scripture. And even when they couldn't read, she would have them memorize the scripture. 
They would memorize the scripture. They would memorize the scripture. And I am a witness to you today. If anybody ever wanted to guess and wonder if you put the word of God down in their soul, would they would they remember it? I'm not saying my kids are perfect and they could still get off track. I, God forbid I don't speak that. I'm just letting you know that the word of God is down in their souls. Every week we would we would give them the opportunity to learn another scripture. And it got to a point where I think they would had remembered by the age of 15 or 12 at least 20 scriptures, 30 scriptures on memory, on memory. I would say Philippians 4.13, they'd say it. I'd say John 3.16, they'd say it. I'd say, give me John 1 and 1. And they just, they quote the scripture and they look at one another and kind of think through it. And I would tell them, I don't care about the exact phrasing of it. I just need to know that you understand the root of it, the basis, not the letter of the law. I just need you to know what God's word says. Fast forward to 21 year old, 22 year old. They probably had many opportunities to make mistakes. And they probably made one or two without me knowing it. But their hearts are so for the Lord. They're pure, they're honest. And I'm grateful, I'm grateful for that. Can you put one thing in the chat this morning that you're grateful for, thankful for? One thing the Lord has just kind of set in your heart this morning that you want to share with the rest of the group. One, one thing this morning that you want to testify. Remember good old testimony services where you get up in the, the front of the church and you say, I just want to praise the Lord's saints, give an honor to God, the first lady, and all the pastors and preachers in the pulpit, all the clergy. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for giving me my health and my strength. And they would go on this whole list of things that they were grateful for. I just want one. We're going to pray this morning. This is our morning prayer line. And so if you're new here, uh, I'm going to request here in a moment, not yet. I'm going to request that you put your prayer request in the chat. But until we get to that point, all we ask of you right now is just, what are you grateful for? I'll read them out loud. I'll read them out loud. Sister Gariana said, I'm, I'm thanking God he woke me up at 4 a.m. Sister Nancy said, I'm thankful for my home. Troy said that we are thankful for each other. Tell my brother I said hello. Sister Gariana also said, I'm thankful for the blood of Yeshua Jesus. My daughter and I are grateful that God's teaching me to love more. Brother David Klein said, I'm just grateful for my kids. Thankful for God and his guidance. Anita said, I'm thankful that God loves me. Give me butterflies. I said, I I'm just thankful for growth. Yeah, some of us get stuck. Some of us get con, uh, what's the uh, what's the word? My brain went went blank there. Uh, comfortable, comfortable. She said, "I'm thankful for growth." Brother Ron said, "I'm I'm grateful for my TikTok family. If I would have been working, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have had this opportunity." That's true. That's true. That's so true. That's how to look at the, the, the things in life from his perspective. Thankful for surrender. Sister Cassandra said, my strange son called me. Prayers answered. It's just the beginning, huh? Lord, thank you. I told you the Lord is moving. He's changing. It's temporary. All those things we've been speaking and declaring, tugging on hearts. Lord, thank you. I'm grateful that it'll never leave me nor forsake me. Ms. Shea said, grateful for being able to read the Bible with my son. That's good. That's good. Sister Kim, she goes by ESOV, said, I'm thankful for God's love. I'm thankful for all he gives me. Lord, will you receive this sacrifice of praise this morning? Sister Shante said, I'm grateful for family. That I got to see my youngest son graduate from high school yesterday done you're done huh you're youngest what a blessing thankful for mercy grace and forgiveness those are all three separate things that's really good good morning sister felicia we're just telling the lord what we're thankful for this morning can you take a moment 
if you have thumbs that work this morning, could you just put one thing in the chat that God has done for you that you are just grateful for? Like, I know life is life, but right now I am grateful for, and then just fill in the blank. Faith and grace said, I thank God for his grace and his mercy. Summer said, I thank the Lord for an amazing husband. He's more than I could ever ask for. Gariana said, I'm grateful for his revelation because he had been revealing things to me in the past day. I'm reading. You put them in there, I'll read them out loud. And then we'll get to morning, we'll get to our prayers. Anita said, I found a place to live and it's all ready for me to move in. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't that a blessing? Lord, thank you. You mentioned that to us. Sister Gracie said, I'm just grateful for favor. Summer credit goes back to him. She said, I'm grateful for Brother Ken and the TikTok family. We get, we thank the Lord. I'm just going to pass it along to him. You giving us this opportunity. I'm like Brother Ron. I'm like Brother Ron. Had, had I been working. We wouldn't get to go into the depths and details of our prayers. We were praying for one hour when I had a job. And those prayers didn't feel rushed, but they seemed rushed. And if you didn't get on here by 7 a.m. Central, we had to go. And so I know we pick up a, a lot more people who, who sleep in, who maybe they have a break. And so I'm, I'm grateful that the Lord has done that. Sister Maggie said, I'm thankful for a second chance. And free of stomach cancer. Hmm. Lord, thank you. Thankful for YHWH. Liz, who are you telling? I'm thankful for the creator. I'm thankful for the great I am. I'm thankful for the one who is and was and is to come. I'm thankful for the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning, the end. The all-knowing God, the all-seeing God, the sovereign God, the only living God there is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Too fast said, I'm thankful to be alive and sober and free. What a testimony. Are y'all receiving this this morning? I hope this is encouraging you. There's a there's a lot that happens in our lives. There's a lot that we go through. There's a lot that thing, a lot of things that we're challenged with. But there's also a lot of things that we can look back and say, Lord, but I am grateful. Uh, before I complain too much, Lord, before I, I, I tell you all my problems, I do want to pause and just have a conversation with you and tell you all the good things. I'm thankful for Jesus, Yeshua, the Holy Spirit, and everything God created under the sun. Just Nancy, thank you. I think that's our fourth Nancy. Welcome. Good morning, Brother Alex. I hope that neck is feeling better. I hope that you're doing well on your crane work. What are you thankful for, Alex? Good morning, Elderly and Perry. I'm thankful for his son's resurrection. User 75609 and his, and his forgiveness. He had to resurrect. That's good. I'm glad he, he came about that grave. DJ Cole said, I'm just thankful for God saving me. Put of the pit, pulled out of the pit, playing in mud. Mmm. Put in the pit and was playing in mud. Lord, thank you. That's me. I was prodigal all the way. Thank God for my amazing kids. Thank God for protection, Chloe said. Faith and Grace said the other. Uh, Red prefers that I'm grateful for peace, strength, and courage. I can't even have courage without you, Lord. You're the one that put all this inside of me. You put the ambitions inside of me. You're the one that created me. It's in you that I live. I, I, I have my being. I move because of you. Sister Fox said, I'm thankful for another day, a fresh opportunity to build faith, another day closer to healing. 
I'm sober six months, been delivered from all things. Brother Too Fast, you are testifying. Somebody out there is wondering, how do I get to that point? When is my six month point coming? Well, let this brother be your witness, be a witness that you can do it. Sister Anita said, I'm thankful for my niece. She's here for the summer break. Tell your niece, Brother Ken said hello. I'm grateful for families, Brother Dooley said. I'm telling you. Even if all you got is the one or two family members you can count on, I'm grateful for family. Some of us got 15 to 20 family members we can count on. Sister Michelle said, I'm thankful for the Lord. He has been there for me this last year when no one else was. Tanika, good morning to you all. There's so many good people in this chat, Lord. Bless them all. I'm thankful for this day. Also, 10 years of marriage today. It's our anniversary. Everybody say happy anniversary to Sister Tanika. Congratulations. Congratulations. Blessings on your life. I'm grateful to be here with my TikTok family, Sister Anna said. It is beautiful. Anybody else? Come on. I'm reading them out loud. Sister Jamie, Jamie Day, how are you? We're doing really well. We're doing so well this morning on this beautiful Thursday we end this month. Telling the Lord, thank you. Priscilla said, I'm just thankful that he loves me unconditionally. 70 times 7. I'm talking about he loves us with a love that says, I have enough grace and mercy for you. Brand new every morning. Still got the, got the tag on it. My tag is still on this morning's grace and mercy. I hadn't even used it yet. I hadn't even used the love that he has for me yet this morning because it's new. It's still in the package new. It still has that fresh new scent. He loves me. That's good, Sister Priscilla. Thankful for God's grace and protection, said Brother Ty. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for my relationship with God, Erica Roy. I couldn't make it without him. Alex, I'm thankful for all that YHWH has always done for me. It was like I never missed a day of operating. I'm glad you got in there and handled it. Thankful for his peace during very stressful and turbulent times in my family. Anyone ever have turbulent times, stressful times, and he, he allowed you to have peace in the middle of all of it? I'm thankful for being able, Deborah said, to love. Hmm. Sister Angie said, I'm just grateful for all of you to pray and to study and friends to do life with. That's good. That's good. There's the happy anniversaries. I've asked for prayer for my daughters. Okay, we'll get to, we'll get to prayer. We're going to get to all the prayer requests in a moment. I just want to get through all the thanksgivings. Before you put your prayer request in the chat, you got to at least tell the Lord thank you for one thing. For those that can't operate your thumbs right now, you're working, you're driving, you're doing something. Just you tell the Lord out loud with your voice. Maybe you can't put it in the chat. Perhaps you don't have the opportunity to use your thumbs this morning and tell the Lord thank you. Will you at least take the moment with your own mouth? Say, Lord, thank you for my family. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my well-being. My heart still works. My feet still work. Yeah, it's a little achy, but I still can live and move inside of you brother patrick said i'm four months sober that's two people so far that the lord has started a new season thank you for testifying thank you for sharing thank you for being a witness for we overcome because of the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony what good is the blood if we can't tell people what the blood did what good is uh, uh, a treasure if no one goes and tells people what that treasure was worth and what it did and how valuable it was? Otherwise, it's just sitting. You are a light on a hill. You don't take a light and cover the light. 
and let your light shine. Brother Ty said, I'm thankful for the people God places in my life and my church family. Praise the Lord. Alex says, it, is, it has 14 years since I've operated one of these cranes. Thank you, YHWH. I know what you meant there. Thankful for life, Constanza. Maggie said, I'm thankful that, she, that she's healed. That's what I was saying. Praise the Lord. Thank him in advance. That's good. I thank the Lord for being merciful and showing me my wrongdoings and the opportunity to, to right them. Deborah, you preaching? You preaching? That's good. His mercy is good. He, every day he gives everybody on this earth an opportunity every day to reconcile, to get it right, to get it right. To go down another path. Ladybug, good morning to you. Thank God for reconnecting my husband and son after a big argument. I'm telling you, the Lord is mighty. Oh, he's mighty this morning. I'm glad the Lord wakes me up and blesses me through our, th though I fall short daily. D3 said that. Yeah, he reigns on the just and the unjust. His mercies are new every morning. He said, just come to just come to me. Come to me. All of you that are heavy laden, even when you make mistakes, I got you. I got you. This is good. Lord, will you receive these sacrifices of praise? We're just telling the Lord, thank you. Angie said, I'm I'm thankful that I'm not who I used to be. Yeshua gave me a new name and a new life. 20 years sober. Okay, there we go. Somebody's being testified to this morning. Someone's being encouraged this morning. Three people said, I'm sober. Had touched it in six months, four months. We had 20, 20 plus years. Can anyone else in this chat just quickly encourage somebody you may not think it's a big deal. You you may not feel like it, it's neither here nor there. It, it was easy. For other people, it's challenging. For other people, that's their vice. Anyone else want to testify of those their sobriety? Anyone else want to testify uh, of something that the Lord... There we go. Two years at the end of June. That's, that's four. Who said God can't heal? Who, who said God can't go down at the, 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 the souls of our, our, our hurt, our pain, our suffering and heal us? There's another. We're at five. Sister Crystal Barnes, thank you so much for sharing your testimony. Six years. God bless you. Your ladder will be greater. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hope someone's being encouraged this morning. I hope the person who's sitting here right now wondering, uh, and it could be anything. You could you could be addicted to sugar. You eat too many sugar cookies or ice cream, sodas. It could be weed. It could be things you see with your eyes that you shouldn't see on the internet. It could be uh, any kind of addiction. You hear what I'm saying? He's a deliverer. Look. Look, if he, if he did it for them, he'll do it for you. It's the same God, same Holy Spirit, same power, same anointing. And if, if they could continue to testify, they would tell you that it wasn't easy, but the Lord kept them every day. And even right now, it's not the temptation that's the sin. They'll each probably tell you that there have been times over the six years, the four months the six months the six years the 20 plus years the two years the temptation came knocking there's been times that the eyes and the heart craved for that thing but the holy spirit put a no in their spirit the holy spirit said no i'm good no i'm all right only by the grace of god see everyone in what is it double a triple a aa in these groups, everyone in rehab, we pray for them that they have an additional anchor. A lot of people go to rehab and they find themselves right back in rehab two years later. 
They go to AA and one really hard break in life, they're back. The Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us helps us. Helps us when we're weak. Help us when we can't handle it on our own. Helps us when we, we get to a point where we do want to give in and we're tempted and the Holy Spirit is there to comfort. Lord, thank you. We do want to give in and we're tempted and the Holy Spirit is there to comfort. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Priscilla said, I cried out to the Lord and he saved me. Pat, four months. Is that six? Brittany, 10 years. That's seven. Angie said, God freed me of drug addiction. No withdrawals, no backsliding. He who makes you free is free indeed. John chapter 8, verse 36. That's nine. Ladybug said, now I know how challenging it is. I'm sober one year from smoking. And I'm 25 years sober from alcohol. That's 11. I'm going to count it 12 because she had two. Yeah, Blake. Come on, Blake. We understand. We understand. It's hard. We're not saying it's easy. But we know that with the Lord, with prayer, with the word of the God, word of God being preached to your souls, Worship music, I can go on and on about all the things that you have to continue to do. Because the Holy Spirit's already there. We just got to keep them active. We got to keep the light on. The electricity is already running to the home. We just can't turn it off. We got to stay in front of the things that so easily can beset us. Come on, who else? Let's get on with prayer, but I'll wait. User 75609 said, I woke up from a coma on December 1st, sober, ever since. That's the kind of stuff I've been talking about. Here's, see, here's my, my witnesses. Uh, that you, just one day you woke up and the Lord reset the neurons, the chemical balance, the, the neuroplasticity of your desires, your needs, the cravings. The, the Lord did that for her. Wow, what a blessing. Anybody just want the Lord to just reset you? This has been a reset week. I think I've used that word every day during prayer this week. He's resetting us. Alex, I think I'm at 14 or 15. He said, I've never smoked again. <laughs> Alex said, I was 18 when I started construction. You've been doing it all these years, Alex. That's a blessing. Hmm. Uh, I don't know the the one and only Jan. What a test! I, I don't know the the one and only Jan. What a test. I need a reset of the past 30 years. Guess what? Guess what, Alicia? Guess what? He's He's been doing it. He's been doing it as we speak. Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to stop to say thank you. Deborah, reset. No more backsliding. I want to be all in. Even when others around me aren't. Lord, I hope you hear our cry. I hope you hear our sincere our genuine appreciation for what you are doing, what you have done in our lives. We come this morning as a, as a choir, all telling you thank you. I wish there was a stronger word. I wish there was something more we could say or do to show you how much we appreciate all the things you've done, all the things you're doing and all the things you will do. As we come this morning for prayer, Lord, we, we ask that you continue to keep our hearts humbled. May we come before you, Lord, boldly, but humble, believing that you can do it, but grateful that you're in control. You do things on your timetable. You do things as you see fit. We pray and, and ask you to help us understand, help us to give us peace. Give us your Holy Spirit so we can move throughout life. 
We ask you to just comfort hearts this morning. We thank you for getting us through another month. We thank you for getting us through almost half a year already. I thank you for everybody in this chat, Lord. I thank you for everybody that you sent here. I thank you for how you're moving. I am so grateful. And Lord, as we get ready to pray for others, where you put the right words in our hearts, where you put the right scriptures in our in our souls to to pray for those that need prayer. But will you go before us this morning and give us um, your spirit to give insight, wisdom, and knowledge? I can't do this without you. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea how to pray. I got all these notes. I got all these scriptures in front of me. So I need your help. I need you also, Father, to bless our prayer team. Everybody that's in this chat that's praying for others, Lord, will you will you not only just bless them, favor them, be kind to them, but that thing that they've been asking for, that thing they've been really, really, really going after. I don't know what it is, but will you do it for them? Will you give them a sign? Will you show them a vision? Will you give them a dream? Will you make something appear that, that gives them confidence and courage confirmation that you're working on that thing you're working on that thing that they've been asking for you've been you were behind the scenes working that's our prayer welcome to morning prayer monday through friday we come here at 6 a.m central and we put our prayer requests in the chat and we pray for one another it's that simple my wife is the moderator so she tries to keep the chats um at a at an orderly play, pace but there is no order to the service. We don't have a program. You can say what you want to say. We just don't want it moving so fast that people get lost. You can put your testimonies in the chat. You can put scriptures in the chat. You can put your prayer requests in the chat. I'll read them out loud. All I ask that you do is that when you see somebody, put a prayer request in here. Pray for them. You get to be a part of ministry. You get to be a part of a team. You get to be a part of God's family praying for others and what prayer is for us is connecting with the lord y-h-w-h because of why what yeshua did we don't pray to yeshua we get to go directly to the one who has the power yeshua sits on his right hand side and and it says yep yep they're with me I, I i shed my blood for them and we can ask the father anything in his name we can ask the father anything according to the will that they have for us so put your prayer request in the chat right now i'll go back up to the top and start reading some of the ones that came in a little bit early i saw sister liz is always faithful for her family uh consistent for her family I, I thank you lord for sister liz for her daughter her son their family their finances her career and also for uh them continuing to overcome the grief that they deal with lord bless them bless this entire family exceedingly abundantly above and beyond lord expand their territory expand their territory lord will you do us a favor we come in agreement scripture memory i know we didn't go over scripture memory but you know what they are to bless them free them who the sun sets free is free indeed lord Bless their home. Bless their home. Thank you, Lord. Next prayer request that I saw in the chat, um, and I'm going to get to them quickly, but I'm going to take my time. We're going to let the spirit move. Uh, Renee Kelly said, uh, and she said this in faith, but we pray for um, Muffin, Virgil, and Sean, their health. Lord, will you bless them? Will you keep them? You know exactly what it is that they're dealing with. I come in agreement with Renee. I'm with Renee. You say where two or three come together and believe, it'll happen. Where two or three come together, you be right there in the midst. That's Matthew 18 and 18. Lord, will you bless them? Keep them, watch over them. In the name of Yeshua. Ooh, this is good. Have peace.
Please pray for me. I need an apartment to, and pray for my health to improve. That was Raphael Bell. Raphael, I don't know if you're still here, but our prayer for you is that the Lord points you to the right appointment, apartment, that you would listen, that you would take the time, that you would pause, you would meditate, get into his word, and listen. I pray that as you drive around the city looking for apartments, looking on the internet for apartments, that you would listen. I pray that the Holy Spirit guides your mouse clicking and your scrolling with your finger, and that you would listen, that you would be saying, Lord, I'm listening. Lord, I'm listening. Show me. I pray for you, Raphael, that as you're looking for this apartment and for everybody who's looking for something, that you say, I'm listening. Lord, I'm listening. Show me. I'm listening. And I pray for your health to improve. I pray that the Holy Spirit moves down into your soul and gives you the strength you need. Sister Erica Roy, we continue to pray for your husband, for his peace. We pray that the Holy Spirit continues to just keep him. He's been through so much. Oh my goodness, Lord, he's been through so much. I can only imagine how he's feeling. He's not a burden. He, he's, he's not... And he has such a faithful, amazing wife that's there for him. Lord, will you bless the two of them? Will you bless the two of them with peace? Give, give them peace about what's happened. Give them uh, a sense of uh, acceptance and joy. Lord, cover him, please. Keep him. Keep him under your wing. Under your sh behind your shield. In the name of Yeshua. I'm just going through, just making sure I don't miss anything. I went back up to the top for those who may have put a prayer request in early. All right, I'm getting there. Here we go. Here we go. Whew. Father, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next prayer request. I'm just scrolling really slow. I don't want to miss anything. Hallelujah. All right. We pray for Savannah and Peyton. Sister Summers asking us to continue to keep the two of them in our prayers. Lord, will you, will you continue to soften their heart? I know you're working because we've been asking. I know that you're doing it the way you want to do it on your timing. So we're going to keep asking. We're going to keep knocking. We're going to keep seeking. I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you with Sister Summer that you're going to bring them back together. They're going to reconcile. Bygones are going to be bygones. Lord, the spirit of bitterness and forgiveness, unforgiveness is going to go away and they're going to forgive one another. They're going to forgive one another 70 times 70 and hit the reset button. We speak a reset. We speak a reset over Peyton and Savannah's life. Even today. Yes, we spoke this yesterday. Even today as they start their day, we're trusting you that you're going to already start moving on their heart. Please. And every evil spirit that's tormenting them, haunting them, pointing their finger at them, accusing them. Lord, may they be able to dismiss those spirits. We bind those spirits. May they be able to, to set aside and, and differentiate between what's wrong and what's right. Give them a sense of righteousness through you. Give them a sense of purpose, understanding. May they be faithful to one another. That's my prayer. God's gift to the world said, I think that my body will be healed. I thank the Lord that he will he'll do everything. I will be everything God has called me to be. That's good. 
Sister Gracie said, all dysfunctional homes, every unsaved soul, Lord, every unsaved soul, every unsaved soul that covers everybody in this chat who has a loved one, who's lost, who's hurting, who's not where they need to be, who's backslidden, who's prodigal. Lord, were you, were you the person that everyone's thinking of right now? Will you continue to move on their heart? Lord, will you, will you please, please make sure that their, their names are on the, the Lamb's book of life. Lord, will you please do us a favor? We may not see it. We may be out of here before they give their lives to the Lord. But we're asking you, we're asking you, every unsaved soul that we know, send laborers, move by your spirit, and we rebuke the devils. Pray for all workplaces. Yeah, some of you may have to get out of here soon, get out of here early. So we pray in advance over your work day. We pray over your workspace. We work over, pray over the team that you're assigned to. We pray over your coworkers, your peers, your supervisors, your managers, your directors, and everyone in between. We pray for all of those who have private business, personal business, small businesses, big businesses, medium-sized businesses. Pray a blessing over this day. But this is the day that the Lord's made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice today and be glad in everything he's going to do for you at work today. May he keep you mentally and emotionally. Hear me. May he keep you mentally and emotionally. Everyone who keeps their mind on the Lord, he keeps them in perfect peace. And he sets you free from all of the commotion that goes on at the job. You're not a part of any of that. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. We come against every evil spirit that's trying to attack you at your job, every evil spirit that, that's trying to, to deceive you, bring you down, pull you down, make you feel less than, less than. I come against all scorpions and snakes on your job. I come against the scorpions who are obvious and we see them coming and we hear them coming. And Lord, we bind that evil. We bind all the snakes that are slithery, all the evil that's, that's trying to deceive and manipulate. We ask that the Holy Spirit keep you, watch over you, and nothing will harm you. And every child in a dysfunctional home, you can probably think of somebody right now who <sighs> the parents could do better. So we pray for the parents first. We pray for every parent out there, Lord, who's not raising their kids in the admonition of the Lord. We pray for every parent out there right now that we know that's represented in this chat who's not reading their Bible to their kids. They're not praying at night. But we pray for every family who's got chaos going on and the kids have to hear it and see it. Their minds are being developed. Their behaviors are being shaped. Uh, their core beliefs are being altered because of what's happening in the home. Lord, will you please protect the children? Please. I know you are because you love the children. You said you, no one better ever hurt a child. They're better off with a millstone tied around their neck and thrown into a seat before they hurt a child. Protect the children. Kelly said, pray for me too, Lord. Bless Kelly. Help Kelly. You know what Kelly needs. Lord, you know what Kelly needs? You know what she's been asking you for? When are you going to do it? Kelly, the Lord says, just keep trusting. Keep growing. Keep staying hungry and thirsty for him. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. They'll be filled. It's the person who's looking for God, that's chasing after God. They'll, they'll be filled. I pray, Kelly, that you continue to chase after the Lord. Please pray for my daughter, that my daughter moves back home with me. Just Nancy. We stand with you. If that's your heart's desire and the Lord has put it on your heart to do so. Look. Lord, I don't know what, what her daughter wants to do. You know what's best for her daughter. You know exactly the atmosphere her daughter needs to be in. You know where the safety is for her daughter. You know a mother's love for her daughter. Will you, will you compel her heart? Will you soften her heart to just listen? To just be open to the idea, Lord? Will you, will you just kind of start on her daughter's heart to just kind of soften and just let it be an option? 
Lord. Sister Nancy is asking you. You said where two or three people would ask according to your will it to be done. I'm asking with her, Lord. Will you will you bring her daughter home? And then will you continue to work on her heart? Will you continue to strengthen her? Will you continue to help her grow? Will you continue to love on her? Show her your mercy and grace, Lord. Will you continue on all daughters? All daughters manifest your love. Brother Todd said, pray for my marriage. 24 years. Pray that the devil releases his grip. And we pray for restoration. Yeah, we call it reset. Don't know all the details of the 24 years. I've been married 24 years. 24 years is a lot. You deal with a lot. You go through a lot. You experience a lot. People change over 24 years. Behaviors change. Attitudes change. Uh, in a good way, you evolve. You become a different person. And so... I pray for you, Brother Ty, that whatever's happening in your marriage, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Every demon, every devil, every snake, every scorpion, it won't win. We take authority. We take authority. You got to tell every spirit in your home, stop. See, that's what we do when we pray. We've learned that there's power in the name of Yeshua. And if you use that name properly, demons tremble. They shudder. They don't like being around his presence, They let alone just his name. So you have to get to a point, married couples, even if you have to do it silently, walk around the house, be in the presence of your spouse, and you call on the name of Yeshua in your head. And you just pray. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, I can't understand how it works. I don't understand how he moves. I don't understand... The, the, the inner workings but the peace of God that goes beyond my understanding will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus Lord keep them together for another 24 years I declare to your marriage that you're going to stick you're going to hold you're going to fight you, you're not going to give up in this marriage you're going to love one another unconditionally you're going to forgive one another 70 times, 70 times, 70 times, 70. I don't care how many mistakes she makes, how many mistakes you make. I don't care what differences you have. That's what grace is. That's what mercy is. I pray that you hit the reset button. Sister Fox says prayers for healing, for anxiety, unknown things happening in my body. Lord, make her free. Make her free. Lord, make make them known. We need a we need a diagnosis, but you already know. Like you already know what, what her, her body is doing to her. So I pray right now in the name of Yeshua that you would heal her completely. From all sickness, all disease. All sickness, all disease. I pray over all your systems. I should have them memorized at this point. Sister Fox, I pray of all your systems in your body that regulate who you are. We pray right now, Lord, that you would heal and deliver her and her nervous system, circulatory system, respiratory system, digestive system, muscular system, skeletal system, immune system, lymphatic system, endocrine system, urinary system, and intergrammatory system. I always mess that word up. Lord, will you bless her? Lord, will you, will you increase all of the chemicals and the cells in her body? Lord, will you make sure that she has a normal rate of white blood cells and red blood cells, Lord? Make sure she has the right amount of protein flowing through her body, Lord. Will you ensure that her platelet count is where it needs to be. Father, will you go before Sister Fox, make sure her creatine levels are right and her EGFR levels are right. Lord, will you go before her, make sure her blood pressure is maintained at the right level, Lord, and her monocytes and her percent of saturation is where it needs to be, Lord. Her TIBC, her hemoglobin, her glucose, her uric, uric acid. I can go on. Lord, will you just do everything for her? Lord, please, just show her. And we already know the Lord is already in the process of healing. 
Hallelujah. Maggie said, prayers, the judge's decision. Still waiting. Lord, give Edmund peace as he's waiting. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount upon wings as an eagle. The run and not be weary, they will walk and not faint. Lord, give Brother Edmund and Sister Maggie peace as they wait. Lord, continue to move on the judge's heart for the right decision. And for everyone who has a court case, everyone who has some type of legal issue that's out there, someone waiting on a decision, or you just wait on the court date. We trust and believe by faith that the Holy Spirit will be with you in the courtroom. The Holy Spirit will be with the judge. That he'll give you favor with the court system and lawyers. In the name of Yeshua. Again, good morning, everybody. Monica, Sister Lydia, thank you for joining us. Lord, we pray for Cindy salvation. Sensitivity to hear the Lord. My sister Sydney, Cindy needs you, Lord. I know you are working with her. I know you're being patient with her. I know you're being very patient with her. I know you're helping Ron as you're being patient with her. I am standing with Ron asking you that she would be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Lord, did you give her an aha moment? Lord, will you give Cindy an aha moment? Will you? When are you going to do it? When are you going to wake her up and kind of give her that, that real big tug? I know you've been tugging at her heart because we've been praying for her. And you've answered our prayer. I know you've answered our prayer. I know she's listening. I know that you're talking to her. I know she hears your voice. We just need her to turn now. It's, it's free will. It's still a free choice. But we're, we're asking that you just bring her home. Bring her home. Continue to help Ron to be loving, kind, be patient. Continue to die just like the Lord died for the church. Lord, I pray that Brother Ron has peace in his heart about her getting there slowly. Lord, Ron needs a job. You, you, we've been asking you now for months. What, do you, what is it that he's supposed to do? What do you want him doing? What do, you, what do you want him doing in his career? Where, where do you want him to go temporarily while he waits on the, the big thing? What, what do you want him doing right now? Like right now, Ron, what does the Lord want you to do? Lord, will you show him for now until perhaps the the big job happens before, before that other opening? It's not even open yet. The job that God has for you hasn't even opened up yet. So what do you want me doing right now, Lord, while I wait? Uh, is there a temporary job? Is there an LLC that you can start? Is there a side hustle? Is there something that Ron can be doing, Lord, while he waits? Will you speak to Ron this morning? Will you speak to everybody in this chat who's waiting on the big job, the one with the insurance and the 401k and the solid hours and the salary that you're looking for? Can you pause this morning and say, Lord, what do you... What do you want me to do? Yeah, we're going to start being more and more obedient to the Holy Spirit. 60 seconds. Turn the music down so you can hear the Lord. 60 seconds. Close your eyes if you need to. Put this phone down. Lift your hands if you're a lift your hand kind of person. Get on your knees if you need to get on your knees. If you're laying in your bed, meditate. Lord. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Go. It's for everybody, not just the people that's looking for a job. I need everybody meditating. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear there. Everybody. What am I supposed to be doing now? Whose lives am I supposed to be touching today? Who do I need to love today?
Lord, what are we supposed to be doing right now? What are we doing right now? Lord, what are we doing right now? Who do you want me to love on right now? Who, who do you want me to call today? Who do you want me to text message today? Who do you want me to pray for today? Who, who needs an encouraging word? That voice you heard, we're learning to, to discern. We're learning to differentiate our voice from the Lord's voice. He's here. We've opened this whole thing up for his glory. So the voice that you heard, the instructions that you receive, are 99% likely to be from the Lord. You need to go write it down. You need to text message it to yourself, send yourself an email. The person he just put on your heart, you need to follow through and be obedient. The thing that the Lord asked you to do today, follow through. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to grow closer to you. Like It's, it's a two-way conversation. Whenever we talk to the Lord, it's not just Lord, 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 I need, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want, help me, help me, help me. I got to do a better job. We have to do a better job of just pausing and letting him speak back. He speaks through me. He speaks through others. But sometimes it's just good to just hear him in your soul. Some of you heard him in your soul. It was very clear. But a lot of people say, well, I don't know how to hear the Lord's voice. I don't know uh, what it sounds like. I've never heard the Lord audibly. It will never be audibly yeah he spoke to Moses audibly he spoke to Adam audibly Abraham audibly he talked to Yeshua audibly but it's likely that many times he's just gonna tell you in your spirit and you're not making it up you didn't come up with it on your own because you are in prayer you're meditating on his throne well, my mind wanders when I pray. My mind goes to different places. Perhaps that's the Holy Spirit in that moment saying, that's the person I need you to think about. That's the thing I need you to focus on and do today. I pray that this is helping you. I pray that our prayer life gets stronger and stronger. Can I keep moving? Sister Renee Kelly said, continue to pray for my ministry and my schooling, finishing my degree. For everybody finishing the degree, God bless you. For everybody who went back to school working on a master's, a bachelor's, or a PhD, even working on just a certificate to keep your job at a higher standing or you have to pass tests every two or three years, may the Lord help you remember the things that needs to be remembered as you take tests and quizzes and assignments, do essays, work on your, your papers, and, and even for those that are putting together their uh, dissertations, may the Lord keep you, watch over you. But bless her ministry. Yeah, all of us have a ministry. So I'm going to ask you, Holy Spirit, everybody in this chat right now has a ministry. It's been called to help at least one person in their lives. Will you bless everyone's calling, everyone's gift, everyone's talent? Will you bless us to follow through on the thing you called us to do in other people's life? Felicia, good morning to you. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling much better, Sister Felicia. God bless you. Sister Trina said, please pray for Artorius and Zachariah, the four and two dysfunctional parents and learning delays. Lord, you already know about these young men's future. You already see where they're going to be when they're 14 and 12. You see exactly where they're going to be when they're 24, 22. We're asking you that as they get to that point in their journey, that you would keep them 
from all hurt, harm, danger, accidents, and tragedies, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm asking if it's possible, if it's possible for you to protect their core memories from any kind of PTSD, any kind of trauma. Lord, don't let them remember all the fights. Don't let them remember all of the, the back and forth and the abuse. Lord, don't allow them to store those things. I know you can do this. It's things to this day that I don't remember. Somebody is say, Ken, do you remember? And I say, I don't. Maybe that's just because I'm getting old. Or maybe because I just chose not to remember it. Lord, don't let them babies remember the things that that's going to hurt them later in life. And Lord, I know you're already going to take care of their, their learning delays. I know that you're already in the process of, of, of reconnecting neurons and pathways. I know you're already in the process of putting really good teachers in front of them who's going to be patient with them and help them in their delays and we don't speak a delay we speak life we, we speak an abundance of love and truth and knowledge and wisdom we speak into these young kids life right now that there will be magnus cum laude summa cum laude graduates Lord, we speak into their lives amazing achievements on a roll and presidents on a roll we speak into their lives lord the ability to, to have a cognitive understanding of the things that's going on. Help them. Help them read. Help them with their arithmetic. Help them remember the times tables. I don't know if they call them times tables where y'all grew up. Lord, help them in every area as they continue to learn. In the name of Yeshua. That's our prayer. Pray for families. Miss Brinson said, Lord, we pray for families, all families. Our prayer for every family in this chat, Holy Spirit, is that you continue to grow us closer in love with one another, grow us in patience with one another, grow us in kindness with one another. Lord, some families just aren't kind to one another. Some families just aren't patient with one another and they don't grow in the love of you. So I pray for all families in this chat this morning that your family would be more kind, more loving, and more patient. In the name of Yeshua. Trina said, please pray for renewed strength, tenacity, joy in the marriage of Troy and Trina. Lord, we pray for Troy and Trina. I thank you so much for what you've done in their life over this last year. They, they just celebrated an anniversary about a week ago. I thank you, Lord, for renewing their strength. I thank you for the reset button. I thank you, Lord, for tenacity. I thank you for joy. I thank you for giving them the love in their hearts to be kind and gracious and forgiving. I thank you, Lord, for the endurance. Yeah, some of it is just endurance the Holy Spirit gives you. You get tired in a race and you want to stop and put your hands on your knees and everybody else is passing you. Oh, I thank you for endurance in this race. Even if all you got to do is a little, a small job, keep going. If you just got to walk this thing out, keep walking. If you just got to take a, a quick pause and then Get your drink of water and then go again. But don't quit. Don't, don't give up on each other. I thank you so much, Lord, for Troy and Trina's happiness. Brother Perry, good morning to you. Sister Shauna, good morning to you. I thank you for Sister Shauna. I thank you for what you're doing in her life. I thank you for the people that you've put in her life. I thank you for her family. We pray right now, Lord, for her and her husband, that they would continue to be the parents and the grandparents you called her to be, them to be. We pray for Sonny and Shamar, Mel Jr., Lord, and every student represented in this chat, that you'd help them with their assignments, that you'd help them retain information, that you give them good study habits, that they don't wait to the last minute to try to cram a bunch of stuff into their minds, but that they would be faithful and committed to learn what it is that they need to do. Lord, I pray for Chad, that you would heal his esophagus. Lord, take the burning sensation away. Take any of the pain, the, uh, the discomfort away in his throat when he eats, Lord. May he eat the correct foods that doesn't cause the challenges. We pray for Justin's complete healing, Lord. We trust you that you're healing him completely of all his cancer. I pray for Sister Donette. I pray for Sister Stacy and so many others on this list that we put on here, Lord for cancer. I lift this list up to you and ask that every name on this list that you'd heal them completely, completely, 
completely. There's no other option. We, we won't settle for anything else, Lord. Complete healing. I know you have the power. We stand in authority against the, the spirit of cancer, the spirit of cancer, the spirit of sickness, the spirit of infirmity, disease. You don't have power. You leave Justin alone. Pray for John's healing, mental illness, Lord. We pray that you continue to keep Brother Gerald Mitchell. This infection that's going through his body. Just take care of it. Take care of it. Take care of it. We pray for all their children, Mel, Mel Jr., Monet, AJ, Antoine, Najee, and all of the grandchildren. Complete healing of diabetes and blood pressure issues and eyesight from our brother Melvin. And that Mary Young and her husband Henry would continue to grow in their marriage. And that you would help Sister Mary as she recovers. In the name of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We continue to pray for Brother Bishop. That the Lord would heal him completely. Of all of his kidney issues. And for everybody in this chat that has a kidney issue. We pray for your EGFR levels to be maintained and regulated the right way. And that the, the waste would flow correctly. We pray that your creatine levels are where they need to be. In the name of Yeshua. No weapon formed against your brother-in-law will win. I pray for everyone who has to go to dialysis. We pray for Sister Maureen. We pray for Sister Maureen. Lord, as you continue to heal her kidneys we pray that you would go see about her lord we ask that you extend life we ask, ask for the, that you give her peace lord we ask that you would go before her and strengthen the kidney lord we don't have to settle for their diagnosis we thank them for the diagnosis we do we thank them for the diagnosis but we also ask that you would go before us and give them complete healing In the name of Yeshua. May the kidneys remove the waste, the body, the way that the body is supposed to. May the kidneys continue to control the fluids and the electrolytes and keep them balanced, Lord, in the name of Yeshua. May the kidneys continue to, to work the way and function the way they're supposed to please next prayer request in the chat this morning deliverance from alcoholism for Troy and my sister-in-law Sheila in, in the name of Yeshua Lord take just take the taste out of his mouth Lord will you will you get him to a point where he recognizes and he can hear your voice See, that's what it really comes down to, Trina, and many others. We, we're asking the Holy Spirit to tug on people's hearts so they can hear. It's still their decision. It's still their decision, but we trust the Lord that the people who have the Holy Spirit inside of them will be obedient to the Holy Spirit, that they won't grieve the Holy Spirit. Lord, I know you're talking to Troy. I know you're talking to Miss Sheila. Will you keep them, watch over them, protect them in the name of Yeshua? Stefan said, I know I have challenges, but I also know it will be okay. I have trust in God to lead me. Sister Mary, good morning to you. Good morning to Brother Gentle Giant. Please pray for Michael. Extensive medical testing today. Okay. Give Michael peace about all the testing. Give Michael peace about the results. Give Michael peace as his body's going through the the poking and the prodding, the machines. Stable his mind. May he focus on you, Lord. Help him and keep him. Watch over him in the name of Yeshua. See, it's the Yvette. Good morning to you. It's so good to have you also. Sister Felicia said, I am. There is still some pain shaking my head, but I'm I'm still moving. 
starting stretching exercises taught to me by a guy in the deli. That's good. See, the Lord will send you people. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, the Lord does things like that. Lord, thank you for sending that young man and that gentleman to her. Thank you that he was able to offer up an opportunity uh, how to improve her. I need to stretch every morning. I need to get in the habit of stretching. My, my daughter tells me, every, Daddy, you need to stretch every morning. She calls me old. I don't feel old. I don't look old. I do certain things. It makes me ache. She said, Daddy, you just need to stretch every day. I need to stretch it. We all need to stretch. Oh, Lord, that was a revelation right there. Yeah, we need to get the word open and just stretch. We, we need to be faithful in our stretching with him daily. All right. Prayer for Emmanuel Foster. Early release date. Lord, everyone in this chat that's incarcerated, that has a family member incarcerated, rather, we pause to lift them up to you. We pause to lift up Emmanuel Foster, uh, Uzaria. We, we pause to lift up Sister Lizzie's uh, fiance. We, we pause and ask you, Holy Spirit, to go see about everybody that's in, in jail in the county, in the city jail, in the state penitentiary. Will you please have some mercy? on their lives, on their souls, Lord. Help them with their loneliness. Help them with their loneliness. My nephew needs help, Lord. Help them with their loneliness. Lord, we pray that your spirit would speak to them, guide them, help them, give them peace, give them comfort. We pray that the Holy Spirit gives them wisdom, knowledge during their time. Lord, I don't think anything's impossible for you. I think that you can look on the hearts of man and that you could, you can do early releases. I think things can happen in the system where they were given 15 and they're only going to do seven. I know that you have the kind of power that you can look on the hearts of man. You know the right situation and you can do this. So I come in agreement with Shana that Emmanuel's going to be released early. My nephew's going to be released early. In the name of Yeshua. Lizzie's fiance is going to be released early. And Lord, we, we thank you, uh, Yazaria, for getting to the point. Lord, he's going to be released in September. We're two months away. June, July, August, September. Four months. I thank you for Sister Miranda's sons. That it, one got out and one will be out soon. In the name of Yeshua. Will you speak that over your family? I know sometimes we settle. We we get discouraged. We get dismayed just thinking about it. But can you speak to the heavenlings? What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loose in heaven. He's given us authority over all. All includes even those who are locked up. All includes those who have been given long sentences. That, that we can ask the spirit of the Lord. We take authority over the devil. Lord, change hearts and minds. Speak it into their lives. I, I speak that you're going to do half your time. Encourage them. Send them letters. Call. Visit if you can. And for those that can't visit, write a letter. Will you write a letter this week to the person that you know that's locked up? Everybody in this chat knows at least probably one person, one family member. Maybe it was a church member who, who told you that their son, their daughter, is in the county for the next couple of months. Can we pause for 20 seconds? I want you to listen. And the instructions that the Lord is getting ready to give us is a part of his whole, his full, this full thing called his kingdom. We get to be his hands and his feet. See, Yeshua is not coming down from heaven to write a letter. Yeshua is not visiting prisons. He's called us. 20 seconds.
Ask the Lord, Lord, who do you want me to write a letter to in prison? Or is anybody that I can pen a letter to today, like today, be obedient, write the letter today. But I want to go visit. I want to call. You can do both. We can do both. We can put our names on a visitation list. And when it's time to visit, we'll visit. But they need encouragement today. Like the letter will get there in two days, maybe three. And they can receive encouragement this week. Who's the Lord putting on your heart to write a letter to? 20 seconds. I'll be quiet. Did you hear his voice again? Did you hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you? Were you going to write that down? Will you send yourself a text message or an email? Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 says this, But when I the Messiah shall come in my glory, and all the angels with me, then I shall sit upon my throne of glory, and all the nations shall be gathered before me. And I will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and place the sheep on my right hand and the goats on my left. Then I, the king, shall say to those at my right, Come, blessed of my father, into the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation or the founding of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me water. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your homes. I was naked, you clothed me. I was sick and in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous ones will reply and say, Sir, when did we ever see you hungry and we fed you or thirsty and gave you anything to drink? Or you were a stranger and we, we helped you? Or when you were naked, we clothed you? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And I, the king, will tell them, When you did it to these, my brothers, you were really doing it for me. Then I will turn to those on my left and say, Away from me, you cursed ones, into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his demons. For I was hungry, and you wouldn't even feed me. I was thirsty, and you wouldn't give me anything to drink. I was a stranger, you refused me hospitality. When I was naked, you wouldn't even clothe me. When I was sick and in prison, you didn't even visit me and then they will reply lord when did when did we ever see you hungry when were you thirsty when were you a stranger naked or sick or in prison and didn't help you because if it was you we would have helped you if i saw yeshua needing help i would have done that thing and he's going to reply and answer and he said i will answer when you refuse to help the least of those i put around you my brothers, you were refusing to help me. And they shall go away into eternal punishment. But the righteous, the righteous, the righteous into everlasting life. That was Matthew 25. Starting at verse 31. Let's continue with the prayers. Lord, I, again, I just want to pause and thank you. If you're just now joining us, this is morning prayer. We're intentional. This this is on purpose. Every morning we wake up and we we wait, like we anticipate. We get excited to see who the Lord is going to send us to pray for. That's that's our calling in this season. That's what we do. We come here for no other reason to give Him the glory and to edify the body of Christ. And so, if you have a prayer request, you just put it in the chat. I'll read it out loud. The prayer team is already praying for you quietly and silently. And so, welcome. Welcome to, to morning prayer. Uh, let's keep moving here. Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon says, continue to pray for my family, the Ford Huntley family, as we celebrate my cousin's home going. Blessings to you today. May you be an inspiration to, to those around you. 
May the joy of the Lord that's inside of you fill the lives of others. Lord, bless this family. Continue to comfort them. Comfort them. Pray for my son Jordan and his wife Abigail that they put God in their marriage and family. We pray for every, I mean every, family, son and daughter, relationships, son-in-laws, daughter-in-laws, that they would seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else would be added to them. Matthew 6, 33, we speak into the lives of Jordan and Abigail. We speak into the lives of Jordan and Abigail. Uh, Matthew chapter 11, come to me all ye that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Lord, will you, will you allow Jordan and Abigail to sense your presence and find your rest? We speak into the lives of Jordan and Abigail and every son and daughter in this chat who's married, living their adult lives, that they would not lean to their own understanding, but in all their ways, they acknowledge the Lord. That's all we want. We want them living a life where God is front and center. Lord, that you would make them free. Galatians 5 and 1 said it is in freedom that Christ set them free. Lord, will you set them free? John 8, 36 says, who the son makes free is free indeed. Lord, will you make them free? 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom, there's liberty. Lord, will you set Jordan and Abigail free and everybody in this chat? Lord, give Ra Ra direction. Give everybody in this chat direction. Continue to speak to us. Point us in the right direction. Close doors that we shouldn't go down. Yeah, with all with God, all things are possible. Nancy says, you're not old till you're 99. I received that. Nancy, were you speaking a blessing on me? I received that. The Lord say the same. I'll, and if he don't come back and get us between now and then, I'll get to 99. Lord, I want to get to 99. It's 51 more years. Visual. Sister Roberta, so good to have you. Lord, we pray for Brother Henry. We pray for everybody in this chat who's having to deal or help support a loved one who's dealing with early onset dementia, uh, any form of dementia, any form of Alzheimer's. Lord, I believe that you can slow down the dementia process i stand with roberta that henry's mind and his brain cells his neurons can reconnect i believe it i know that you have something out there lord for us naturally i know that you have something for us supernaturally but will you point roberta to that thing will you will you point sister roberta lord and everybody in this chat To the thing that will help reconnect. I ask that you give Sister Roberta strength. We pray for all of our caregivers, whether you're doing it as an occupation or that's just what you're doing because you love the person you're with. Gracie, I'm thinking about your sister right now, having to take care of her husband. Sister Roberta, I'm thinking about you having to take care of, of Brother Henry. I'm asking the Holy Spirit. Erica, I'm thinking about you taking care of uh, your your husband Holy Spirit Holy Spirit you have to give them some strength, some patience, some wisdom unconditional love you have to manifest inside of them your compassion your empathy will you please continue to heal brother Henry Pray for Antoine. He'll get his first shift job and go back to coach. You know what's best for him. Do it for him. Thank you for the, the confirmation there, Sister uh, ASMR. She said you got to stretch as much as possible. Heal my son-in-law, Renee said. Come on, Holy Spirit. Moving his heart, tug on his soul. 
Lord, show him dreams and visions. Give him aha moments. Holy Spirit, will you bring him to you? Holy Spirit, will you bring her son-in-law to you? Holy Spirit, will you send laborers into his life? Holy Spirit, will you please guide him and keep him? We come against every devil, every enemy in his life, every spirit. We bind it in the name of Yeshua. Sister Mary, good to have you. Kristen said, yes, I do, and I will. Pray for your three sons, Daniel, King, and Isaiah. I forget about Daniel sometimes. King and Isaiah is easy for me to remember for some reason. Lord, Lord, bless their summer. Bless their summer. Lord, they're going to get in the word of God. What a what an amazing mom you are, Candy. All of you are amazing moms and dads, but I'm just shouting out my my sister, my classmate, my friend. Lord, give those young men the patience to listen to their mom and study the word. Lord, give them the endurance to, to listen and learn the scripture. Lord, put the word of God down in their heart so they'll never, ever fall back and away from you. Lord, I pray over King, Isaiah, and Daniel. Beautiful names, all from the Bible. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Lord, may they find joy in doing this. Lord, may they come across some scriptures in Proverbs, Sister Candy, some really good scriptures in Proverbs that get young people's attention that they're like, I didn't know that was in the Bible. Lord, will you give them a thirst and a hunger for righteousness? Every child in this chat, every child represented in this chat, where mama's going to say, we're going to remember, remember one scripture this week. That's going to be our scripture for the month. Maybe for a toddler that's eight or nine or six or seven, all they can handle is one scripture for the month. Lord, give the children represented in this chat a hunger and thirst for righteousness. You grandparents. I know your mom, your, your sons and daughters don't want you crossing too many lines. They set boundaries for you, but there's no boundary with the word of the Lord. When you get them grandbabies in your possession, you teach them a scripture. Just between you and them. <laughs> and one day when that kid starts quoting scripture, who taught you that? Grandma. We, we just quote it around the house. We quote it when we go to Walgreens. We quote it when we, we go here or there. Lord, everybody in this chat, hunger and thirst for righteousness. Ryan Torres, early release. Ryan Torres, early release. Ryan Torres, Lord. I agree with Sister Lydia. Can you do that? Of course you can. Will you give him favor, Lord, with the court system, with the parole board, with those that are, are making judgments on his behalf? Lord, will you please, please add him to the list? Go see about Brother Ryan Torres. D3, have a good day. Please forgive me, said Nancy Maria, for my mental and physical health. May YHWH continue to to work on Gustavo Lord Lord it's all right Nancy it's okay it's okay you did nothing wrong you didn't ask for this you didn't ask for this so I pray for you I pray for sister Fox I pray for so many others in this chat that are hurting physically that the Holy Spirit will give you strength he'll give you endurance that his grace is sufficient 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 means I'm up this morning I can still use my mind and my abilities to pray for people and help people and to, to call people, to write to people. I still have my capacities this morning to get from the living room to the kitchen. I, his grace is enough. It's, it's sufficient. I pray over you, Sister Nancy, that even in your pain, even in the, the heartache of, of recovering from this surgery, that you just... Receive his grace. Lord Gustavo, what's he been up to? What are you doing in his life? How are you talking to him? What are you doing to change his heart? We've been asking you. 
I've been asking you about Brother Jerry. I've been asking you about Brother Gustavo. I've been asking you about Brother Aaron. I've been asking you about so many husbands and wives, Sister Cindy, in this chat that you would continue to, to keep them. I've been, I've been praying. Lord, I've been praying. I've been praying. Let me get that list out. I've been asking you to move. Will you continue to move on their heartstrings? Will you continue to soften their heart? Will you continue, Father, to bring them closer to their spouse and bring them closer to you? Everybody. Everybody. I'm just going to speak a quick blessing. I just want to make sure I got all my... I'm going to speak a quick blessing over all marriages, if that's okay. I got my list here of all of our family members. I got to do a better job. Father, every, every marriage in this chat, I'm speaking a blessing, a blessing of love. A blessing of peace. I speak a blessing of coming together. I speak a blessing of reconciliation. I speak a blessing of reset. I speak a blessing of resurrection. Resurrection was, was when something is completely dead. And that's come back to life. Lord, I speak a, a blessing of hope for this couple, for these marriages. I speak a blessing of getting along having great conversations. I speak a blessing of walking together at night. I speak a blessing of watching movies and dancing in the living room. I speak a blessing over marriages, Lord, that they would have just simple date nights, nothing fancy, nothing big, that they just spend time with each other. I speak a blessing that they would laugh together, enjoy one another's company. I speak a blessing that they fall deeply and passionately in love with their spouse. I speak a blessing over spouses and marriages this this morning, that they would be compassionate and kind. I speak a blessing of togetherness, oneness. I speak the blessing over Wanda and Latrice, Yoli and Samuel, Kim and Larry, Darcy and Adam, Henry and Roberta, Shonda and Ray, Maggie, Edmund, Shandy and Jonathan, Trina, Troy, Rebecca, and Warren, Sister Jen Baxley and her husband, J.I. and his wife, Lisa loves Yeshua and her husband, Alejandra and Jorge, Tammy and Leonite, Adriana and Jeff, Alex, praying for you, brother, Green Eyes, praying for you and your wife, Marielle, praying for you and reconciliation, Brown Eyes, I got Green Eyes and Brown Eyes, and her husband, Eric and Shanice, Mike and Sheila, Katrina and Gavin. Lord, do you hear the names I'm throwing and, and sending your way? The blessing that I just declared and spoke, I need it on all of these names I'm mentioning. Catherine and Cage, Nikki and James, Sufficient Grace and Xavier, Kathy and John, Becca and Brandon, Ashley and Jonathan, Monica and Alan, Deborah and her husband, Michael and Michelle, Janice and Desmond, Lisa. I got that down here right twice. Lisa loves Jesus on my list twice, and so you get a double blessing. Sadie Boyd and her husband, Henry and Mary, Mel and Shauna, Nancy and Gustavo, Shante and Nick, Bishop and Sheila, Mary and Dre, Erica and John, Janisa and Wayne, Candy and Joe, Teresa and Jason. Keita and Robert, Devin and Karen, Maria and Leo, Sandra and Mark, Nancy and Pat, Lydia, Emilio, Andy and Carrie, Ron and Cindy, Kylan and Dylan, Lord. I send the blessing and upon their lives. Tangeline and her husband, Mike and Jamie, Cheryl and John, Kimberly and Dan, Ernie and Shalay. Hadn't seen Shalay in the chat. Lord, I need to reach out to her. Trina and Damon. Elderly and Perry. Christina and Javier. Brandy and Ray. Shauna and Melvin. Deborah Carr and Brad. 
Jera and Matthew, Joseph and Nicole, Chris and Christy, Mike and Haiti, Leslie and Ray, Danny and Linda, Shayla and her husband, Shauna and her husband, Lisa, Haley and Austin, Shayla and Kamar, Mary Ellen and Terry, Brian and Stacy, Shirley Landry and Wayne, Linda Santos, her husband Derek, and can't read my writing, Derek and her husband, Mia and Eric, Jerry and Terry, Steph and Mike, Trina and Troy, I said that already, Samantha and TJ, Vanessa and Aaron, Brian and Marley, Brian and Stacy, Thomas and Quita, Terrell and Latia, Crystal and Jerry, I said that already, you get a double blessing, Samantha and Iman, Rhonda and Aaron, Brian and Marley, and there's probably others that I can't read my writing and see here. Anybody that I missed, Lord, anybody that I missed, anybody that I missed, bless them. Everybody gets a double blessing. A double blessing of love, a double blessing of patience, a double blessing of date nights, a double blessing of compassion and sympathy towards one another, a double blessing of kindness, a double blessing of dance nights and date nights, a double blessing of just laughing with each other. I declare it with my own words and I just need two people to agree. I need somebody else in this chat just to say I agree. Where two or three people agree, Lord. Lord, expand our territory. Expand every marriage's territory. If I missed you, if I missed your marriage, don't don't take it the wrong way. Just put it in the chat. Desmond and Janice, did I say that? Peyton and Savannah, I mentioned them earlier. Kenan, Kenan Rachel. And I speak a blessing on my son and my daughter's future spouses. I know you're preparing them. I've been praying for this young man and this young lady. I've been praying, Lord, that whoever my daughter marries, that you're preparing them now for holy matrimony, holy matrimony. Whoever our son is going to marry, Lord, I pray right now that you are preparing their hearts, preparing their hearts. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to come from the, the, the perfect home. I just need you to help them find the right one. And I speak every blessing that I just spoke over these marriages. I speak that over my own children. I speak it over your children and your grandchildren. All right. Pray that Monique Wilson. She'll hear the voice of the Lord for the correct work from home job. All of us need to just continue listening. Lord, may she hear your voice. Point her in the right direction. Sister Bridget, good to have you. Welcome to our morning prayer line. Please pray for my grandson, Franco. He goes to court on June 13th. Lord, you already know what June 13th is going to look like. You know the outcome. You know if they're going to push it back or come up with a decision will you bless this family keep them but i don't know the situation i don't know what happened you do grandma was asking for some mercy some grace asking for some leniency asking for some favor some kindness from you will you put it on the judge's heart the lawyer's heart the court system's heart to do right by franco do right by franco give them peace about it Give everybody peace about it in the name of Yeshua. Cecilia said, uh, I recently broke up with an alcoholic boyfriend knowing it was what God wanted, but it hurts. Cecilia, thank you for your obedience. There's a blessing on your obedience. There's a blessing from God when we, we follow through, even when we know it, it's not what I want to do. Our flesh always pulls against the thing that the Holy Spirit is telling us to do. It always, the Bible said it, Romans chapter 8, that, that, chapter 5, 6, 7, and 8, that the two were constantly at war. 
And my flesh wants to say this and do this. But the spirit is telling me to say this and do that. I pray over you, Sister Bridges, that you become, uh, I'm sorry, Sister Cecilia, that you become uh, accepting of what the Lord has in store for you. That means, that means, listen to this for everybody who had a breakup, and we said this yesterday to those who we went through a prayer of betrayal. I'm still uploading and editing. It's out there. It's on there, but I need to edit to, so you don't have to scroll to the very end. I pray that you understand and have hope that the Lord has something else for you. Like that can help you in your healing. That helps you in, in your acceptance. That helps you in the hurt to know that I lost this one. But that means the Lord has something better. Not equal, not less. For everybody that's gone through that, better and for those that decided we had this conversation yesterday i'm going to stay with him i'm going to stay with her the lord has still got something better they're going to be a better person they're going to grow they're going to improve they're going to progress i speak better i declare better in your life thank you lord thank you Okay, thank you for the pronunciation. <laughs> I put the L next to the E. That's on me. Thank you for the correction. Earl Linde or Ellen. I, Ellen is easier. I will correct that. Brother Perry and Ellen is much easier for me to even remember. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with me, Brother Perry. In the name of Yeshua, family. That's what family does. He did that so lovingly. He did that so kind. I can even hear his tone. They tell you not to read tone and messages. Don't read tone and text messages and emails. Do not put your own opinion on somebody's message because it puts you in your feelings. But I just felt the, the presence of God in, in reading that. Vita said, please pray for Natasha. She's getting ready to go to school. Lord, bless her today. For all these kids that are still in school Bless them. I know they're ready to get out. I know that they have senioritis. They're not even seniors. They're just ready for school to be over. Will you keep them? Will you cover them, Lord? Will you give them the endurance to finish strong? Protect them from all hurt, harm, danger, accidents, tragedies, and disasters. Thank you, Sister Roberta, but I'm going to give him the, the glory. I'm going to give it right back to him. Sister Bridget. We come from Matthew chapter 18, and this is for everybody, Sister Bridget and everybody who's on here. Uh, one of our scripture memories is Matthew 18 and 18. Matthew 18 and 19, 18, 18, 18, 19. And I, just if I could quickly, 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 I know it has been said in the church, touch and agree. Everybody has said it at some point in their life, touch and agree. And that's not in the scripture anywhere. Uh, I, I encourage us as we study our word that we, we read it the way it's said. And it helps us get even better understanding of what our Lord, our Savior, Yeshua meant. So in Matthew 18, 18, he says, whatever you bind on earth, like whatever you say on earth, Whatever you tell to stop on earth, whatever you rebuke on earth, whatever you do in your fleshly body, this earthly vessel, we're earth. We are the earth. He made Adam and Eve out of earth. So whatever you bind on earth, you bound it in the spirit realm. You speak it. You have not because you ask not. You don't have faith to believe. Oh, ye of little faith, he would tell them. He wouldn't tell the physical earth that. He was telling people. So whatever you bind on earth, the spirit realm has to pay attention. The spirit realm has to listen. So with my mouth, I tell evil, you can't come into my home. You tried, but you can't stay. Uh, sickness tried to take over my body and discourage me and depress me. But uh, I speak with my mouth that I won't be depressed. 
I'm going to hang on. I'm going to keep fighting. So every evil spirit that's lurking in my neighborhood, I can't control the evil spirits that my neighbor has. If my neighbor wants to invite evil spirits to hover over their home, I can't stop that. But you won't come over here. You won't cross the street. You're trespassing at that point. So I bind on earth the things that I want bound in the heavens. And then it says, whatever you loose, release, whatever you ask, to, to happen in your life out of earth the spirit realm has to pay attention the Lord listens so we speak or we declare blessings, love, hope, the fruit of the spirit just go through the fruit of the spirit self control I speak that into lives I speak patience, I speak the kindness and gentleness, I'm loosening it here on earth so guess what it happens in the heavenlies Everyone has to come to attention and say, no, 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 no. Peace is going over there. Love is being manifested in that home. Patience. They're going to keep giving each other a chance. And then he says this part, Sister Bridget, and it's the part that we have heard preachers mess it up. But if you read it the way that it's read, it said, where two or three are gathered together in his name, they can ask for anything and it will happen. And where two or three or three are together he's in the midst and so that's the thought what he really is saying is where two people agree that something's going to happen when, when two people put their hearts together and their minds together when two people come together and say are we on the same page on this that this is going to happen you with me all right let's believe it let's believe that's going to happen I believe as if I'm already touching it. I believe that it's already taking place. I believe by faith that that thing is in my possession. I believe by faith that it's done. I believe my sons and daughters are already healed. I believe that my marriage is stronger. I believe that my kids are going to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the spirit of Yeshua. I believe right now, I'm putting my faith on that thing as if I can touch it. I'm not touching it physically. To agree, I agree as touching. I agree as if it's present. I agree as if the Lord has already done it. I agree that you got the job already, Ron. I agree with you that we, we have healing in our bodies, in our marriages, in our homes. I agree. Yeshua said this, if two of you agree. He didn't say if two of you touch anything. And I get it. I get it. People come together and they start touching stuff. Keep touching stuff. Keep claiming it. When we moved into this house, before we even moved into the house, I came and laid hands on this house several times. But I wasn't laying hands on the house as a victory, as, a, as an omen to, to receive it. It was my faith. Are you with me? It was my, I believed, I expected. I've been teaching in our prayers that the word faith is just trust, expectations confidence belief so when i laid hands on this house i said lord i'm trusting you that if this house is for us don't let anyone else put an offer on it don't anyone drive by this house and see the sign may, may they miss it as they're scrolling on the internet lord lord i come in agreement that this house is mine it's mine And then I laid my hands on the house and blessed it, covered it, claimed it. Now, some may hear that and say, you're part of the faith moving and all that kind of stuff, money cometh. And no, I'm not a prosperity person at all. That is not biblical. That's not, I'm sorry, it's not in the Bible. I know where in Jesus is teaching that he called money to ever come, ever we got to speak where the Bible speaks and be silent where the Bible is silent. Nowhere ever did the Holy Spirit have anybody in Acts speak to money. It's just not biblical. Can I ask the Lord for good things? Can I ask him to supply my needs? Can I ask the Holy Spirit to, to give to me, press down, shaking together and running over as he sees fit? Absolutely. But I can't go tell a million dollars to come here. I can't tell five homes to come here. My prayer was, Lord, if it was your will for me to have this home, 
I claim it. They have these websites here in Oklahoma, lost money that the state treasurer has out there and you put your name in there and it tells you that here's some money that's been awarded to you or maybe you never claimed it was a refund something happened but you got to fill out these forms and you can claim your money but you you got to do your part you got to go in there and fill out the form maybe some of your other states have it if you live in Oklahoma there is a website that you can go type in and see if you got some money out there somewhere I can only claim what's mine. If it's not God's will for me to have this home, have this job, have that husband, have that wife that you're asking for, we can't force our way on God. You can. You can push the envelope when he tells you no. But then you're just going to be working hard to keep it to yourself. I don't know why I got off there. But I hope that helped you. Welcome to morning prayer. I want to thank everybody for praying with us this morning. I want to thank everybody in this chat for being faithful in your prayers with us and for us. We don't do this without you. This is prayer family. This is prayer team. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I think I'm at the bottom. Did I miss any chats? Aloha, brother. Good to have you. It is so good to have you. Brother, is there anything we can pray with you about? Carmen praying for you and Shanice. Thank you so much. I'm I'm believing. As if it's already done. As if I could touch it. You and Shanice, her full healing. Yvette, have an amazing day, sis. Good to have you, Vita. Have a great day. Amy said, please pray for guidance for my husband, Madhu. I need to make sure that I got Amy and Madhu on the list, Lord. Lord continue to bless them continue to keep him bring his heart back to you he's wandering he's wandering we need you to get him on the right path Holy Spirit I know you're speaking to him because you don't stop speaking he may have shut you off he may have stopped listening but I know you're there knocking at his heart Lord you keep knocking at our loved one's heart Holy Spirit will will you keep knocking until they answer the door Lord, will you will you keep mm, this is good this is good moving sounding the alarm until he gets up in, in our home in our home and I'm, I'm pointing at me I'll put something in the oven I'll put something in the microwave I try not to use the microwave that much but we put a lot of stuff in the oven and put it on a timer and then we go about our business and there's somebody to go to another room and the timer start going off that it's done and I'll just sit there still working I know I need to go in there and get it and the timer goes off and I need to get up but I hadn't got up yet and my daughter my wife would say honey the, the your food is ready and I'm like okay I give me one more second the timer is going off Lord let the timer go off in their hearts Lord may they hear the timer going off Lord, may they get up and go see what's in the oven as the timer is going off. Please help me do. Help our loved ones, Lord, to, to not ignore the timer. Help our loved ones not to think it's okay to let it sit in there. And Lord, help them. Sister Renee said, coming from Oklahoma, thank you. Thank you so much. Oklahoma City is one of those little holes in the walls that a lot of people think it's just cowboys and and everybody here is country and we all talk like this right here. I, I do have some family members who are very, very country. They do talk like this and they have cows and they have, you know, gardens and but not everybody in Oklahoma is like that. Shout out. Put Rory and me on the list. Sister Lakeisha Will. That encouraged my heart for you to say that. Because we had a conversation. Lord, I pray for Brother Rory right now. I'm asking that you continue to move in his heart. Oh, take, take, take the, the addiction away from him. 
Oh, stable is mine. Stable is mine. Come on, Lakeisha, pray with me. I'm praying with you. Lord, stable is mine. Stable he is mine. Oh, let this mind be in him that was in Christ Jesus. Christ Yeshua. Stable Roy's mind, Lord. Put the right people around him. Well, it's change his heart to do right. Let let the alarm go off in his heart. May he answer the alarm. Pray for Edgar. He left the house a while back. Lord, where's Edgar? Lord, do you know where Edgar is? I don't want Alejandro worrying. We don't want Mama worrying. The other brothers worrying. Lord, will you will you keep Edgar? You have five brothers. We pray for all of them. We're asking that the Lord keeps Edgar. Protect them, Lord. Protect them from whatever he's coming into, running into, coming across. I love that prayer, Casey. Casey, you're growing in Christ. You are... I see the Lord doing so much with your faith. You got one of those innocent faith. Those what can the Lord do kind of faith. Bless you. Thank you. Please continue to pray that we get approved for our, our home. Adriana, I don't know if you just heard my testimony. Go lay hands on that house and agree. Take somebody that agrees with you. Lay your hands on the loan. Lay your hands on the website. Say, so, Lord, I agree. I agree that we're going to get approved according to your will. Send us to the right bank. Send us to the right people who's going to take care of us. Listen, I want to thank everybody for joining us. This has been morning prayer. All of our prayers are on YouTube. I take the time to download them and then upload them to YouTube. And so if you missed any prayers this week or you jumped in halfway through a prayer, go check them out. We've done some really good prayers. The Lord has sent us down the path of, of healing of depression, healing of self, self guilt and insecurities, fears yesterday. I'm still working on chopping it up, but we did an amazing prayer the Lord sent us down for those who have been betrayed and those who did the betraying. He healed hearts. He started a path of recovery. So we do this every day. Every day is different. Every day is unto the Lord and we trust him. But I want to thank you. A couple of more and we'll get you out of here so you can enjoy this wonderful, amazing day. Please pray for my dad's addiction, for him to find the Lord, and for my husband to grow his faith. Sister Fox, under the authority of Yeshua, given to us, you and I, we come in agreement with everybody that's agreeing with us. The Holy Spirit will help your dad. The Holy Spirit will move on your, your father's heart and help him. All the cravings, all the, the, the dependency issues that he has, the Lord is, if we'd ask you to just start lessening them, decreasing them. But opening his heart up to you, send laborers into his life, and then we bind evil spirits. Evil spirits, devils, demons, fallen angels that surrounding him. Save him. Save him, please. I pray for her husband, Lord. I put you, on, you and him on our list, Sister Fox and her husband. Grow his faith. May, may he see her as a role model to his faith, her prayer time, her reading of the Bible time, her worship music time. Lord, may that draw him in closer and closer to grow. Sister Jashelle, I hope I said your name right, beautiful name. Can you please pray for me for a sound mind and to be a great mom? This is for you and everybody. Lord, Sister Jackson just wants you to stable her mind, to give her wisdom in her mind, to give her peace in her mind. Lord, she wants to be able to regulate her mind. Lord, she wants you to help her with her mental and her emotional state. So we come in agreement with you that the Lord can do this. He'll give you perfect peace. 
He said that if you come to me, everyone who's weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Nothing's impossible for the Lord. He said you can do all things through Christ that strengthens him. It's in Christ that you live, you move, you have your being. Lord, will you give her love, power, and a sound mind or a disciplined mind? Ho Holy Spirit, will you calm all her fears? All of them. All of them. Everything she's thinking about, everything she's worried about, everything that's got her troubled, everything that keeps her up late at night. We've all been there. Peace. My peace I give you, not as the world gives it. The world won't understand this. I'm just going to drop peace in your spirit. When the storm goes on, you don't really care. When everything around you is hectic, you, my trust is in the Lord. This is his problem, not mine. Lord, will you help her to be the mom you called her to be? Lord, I don't know how old her babies are. But she just want to be the strong Christian mom you called her to be. Lord, may she role model for her children holiness and righteousness. May she role model for her kids a hunger and thirst for righteousness. Lord, may she teach her kids the things that they need to know so when they get older, they won't depart. They'll, they'll come back. I pray, Lord, that you make her the Proverbs 31 woman. I speak on her a Mary anointing who, who had to raise Yeshua up to probably 18 or 19. I, pr I pray an anointing on her life and every mom in this chat to receive the sensitivity, the kindness, the love that the Lord wants you to give your, your, your babies. Amber said, what was the title of yesterday's prayer? I tried to find it. Yeah, so it took me a while to upload it. Um, even right now, I think I'm still, it's back there uploading. So it's going to be two titles for yesterday's prayer. The, the, the first three hours, yeah, the first three hours is going to be titled, what did I name it? You remember the shirt that I wore? If you go, go to YouTube right now, you, it should be on there. And then I have to re-download it. And then the last two hours is going to be called Overcoming Betrayal. The last two hours should be uploading right now as we speak. Overcoming Betrayal. We spent two hours yesterday, the Lord. I didn't even realize it was two hours. He, two hours. I said the session wasn't going to be long, but it was a session. The Lord gave us his own therapy. The Lord, <laughs> if you were here yesterday, you, you understood. The Lord was... An amazing counselor. Oh, he was an amazing counselor. But yes, it's on there. Hit refresh. I'm going to go back here and check in a moment. But it should be on there. If not, give me another hour or so after this chat. Yes, she's going to be a great mom. Thank you for that confirmation, Sister Fox. Pray for Marcus Jr. Lord, direct his path, his purpose. Open doors for him. Give him peace. Show him where to go. For every son in this chat, every daughter in this chat, Lord, direct their path. We are trusting you with our kids. We're trusting you with our grown adult children that you will keep them. I can't parent them anymore. I can't tell them what to do. I can't make them go places. I can't force them to go down the path. So I need you to please help Marcus Jr., Help my son. Help my daughter. In the name of Yeshua. I need the right words to speak to my employer today about a minor issue. I don't want to lie. Just tell the truth. Holy Spirit's going to tell you exactly what to say. Don't try to script it. Don't try to uh, put your own thoughts to it. You, you get an idea of what the issue is. You know what you need to say. You know what has to be said. Script it if you need to. But it, what I'm saying is let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Lord, will you, will you guide her today in that conversation? Will you give her the exact words, the exact emotion, the exact confidence she needs to share what she needs to share in the name of Yeshua? This is good. All right. Listen, shout out. 
I don't do this, but maybe three times a year. Personal shout out. Today is my daughter's 21st birthday. The Lord blessed me and my daughter with a beautiful, beautiful baby daughter 21 years ago. The testimony is that she was in, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pre, she's prenatal. NICU. She came out four pounds and some ounces. Me and Rachel were troubled that we couldn't even be with her the first three days of her life. If anyone's ever been there, you know how that feels. And every thought goes through your through your brain. If there are gonna be any issues, there are gonna be any challenges, and what's gonna happen? And four pounds, Lord, four pounds. They said that her birthday was supposed to be July 4th, July 5th. She was born May 30th. That young lady grew up to be an amazing child. Smart as a whip, getting ready to be a veterinarian. Uh, plays college basketball, is a leader on the court. You can go YouTube, my daughter. You can go YouTube, my daughter. If you go to my page, everybody that's on my YouTube page, all you can do is scroll down. Scroll down to the very bottom of my YouTube page, and you're going to see how amazing my daughter is. Yeah, our daughter, our daughter is a blessing. She is such a blessing. Yep. She jumps on here every now and then. She tries to be incognito. I said, baby love, did you... Uh, Check this morning's prayer. She said, I caught a little bit. I kept scrolling. So, Cashel, if you, you're listening right now, happy birthday to you. Blessings on your life. 21 amazing years in the books. In the books. Starting year 22. I thank the Lord for getting you through 21. All right. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Lord, as we close today's prayer. Uh, Cindy, I saw your prayer there. Continue blessings on those who are traveling. Lord, will you bless everybody in this chat again today? Give us a good day. Bless us today. Go before us today. Protect us today. That's our prayer. We love you and we thank you. And everyone said hallelujah. Listen, we'll see you tomorrow. And I'll have those prayers uploaded within the next hour. They should be very clear. I have a section on YouTube called uh, convos after prayer convos after prayer go to that section on my youtube and you'll see the different conversations that have sparked after we've prayed see y'all tomorrow lord thank you